Right on, everybody. Uh, I got a couple, well, four knives I want to show you tonight. I got uh, two from uh, Puma SGB. I got uh, CRKT and uh, a buck knives. I'll, uh, I'll start off with this guy here, so uh, hang on. I'll be right back. Right on. So here's the first one. This is uh, the Puma SGB. It's called the Rattler. So it's uh, just a little uh, a little guy. It's uh, five and a half inches overall long, overall long, <laughs> overall length, and uh, the blade is uh, two point six inches long. It's uh, it's kind of a cool little knife. It's uh, pretty small though. It'd be okay like a neck knife or something like that. Uh, but it's got this kind of a well, it's not kind of it's a leather sheath. It's got a really thick welt on the side, and uh, but it's kind of you know that it's kind of hard, so it doesn't have a lot of uh, like super good retention. You shove it down in there real good, and yeah, it just falls right out. But it's just kind of cool. Uh, it's got uh, synthetic stag handles. And if my camera would focus in, let's see. Oh, that's not the right way, though. Ooh. So right there, you can see it's got the, uh, the little insignia on there, and it tells all about the knife. Not really all about it, but, you know. Uh, okay. This, knife, <coughs> this camera doesn't go that far in. So anyway, um... This thing is made out of a, kind of a funky steel. It's called, uh, where is it at? It's got it right here. Right there. 1.4... Jeez, I can't even read it through the camera. 1.40... No, we have one... Jesus. 1.4116 German cutlery steel. So I checked that out and uh, well it's not it's not like the greatest steel in the world. Um, I'll get you a, a little info. It says that it's uh, it's not as hard as like a high carbon steel but it's got 15% uh, uh, chromium which makes it uh, extremely good for corrosion resistance and uh, Oh, there's the knife. <laughs> it makes it good for corrosion resistance, and uh, that's why they use it for like the, well, like cutlery in Germany. So it's like food safe, and uh, you can, you know, use it in uh, some damp areas, and it's not so bad with uh, uh, chemicals and acids and whatever. But it's not particularly hard when it. Well, I mean, it's hard like steel and all, but. It doesn't hold a super uh, sharp edge for a long time, um, but it doesn't dull really, really fast either. You just gotta, you have to maintain them pretty well. It's got a pretty nice edge on there. It's a cool little knife though. I've carried it a few times and uh, say all right. So I'm gonna grab the other SGB. I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Right on, here's the other one. This one's quite a bit bigger. This one is called the uh, Buffalo Hunter, and uh, it's kind of a, uh, a homage to um, one of uh, Puma's knives that was called uh, the uh, White Hunter. It's the uh, same blade shape, um, but a little, bit, uh, a little bit longer. This one here is... Uh, we're looking at 10 inches overall long, overall long, I did that again, <laughs> 10 inches overall length. There is a 5.7 inch long blade <laughs> and the rest of its handle. Uh, this one's using a G10, kind of layered G10 handles, has the, the Puma uh, shield there, I don't know if this thing will go in there, but they have that on all their, all their cool knives. And uh, this is a layered G10. Really cool handle. Got a little lanyard hole right there. 
This thing is supposed to be hardened to, uh, what did it say? I think 55 to 57 on the Rockwell hardness thing. And uh, just a really cool knife. Uh, it's not a, uh, I'll put it down so I can do this. Right up here, this is just a false edge right here. But I've seen some of them where they've, uh, they've taken this and turned that into a, a sharpened edge as well. Just a really cool looking knife. I really dig it. And, uh, yeah, just a, an unusual shape, how it has the kind of a recurve, and then this fat belly here. It's just a really cool knife. And on the side of their, uh, let's see, let me find it. I'll just show it to you. Kind of a cool little thing right there. Sharp as a razor, strong as an axe. Pretty cool. Even though this is still made out of that same uh, 1.4116 German cutlery steel. I think I got it right that time. Uh, it's four millimeters thick, so it's uh, that's that's cool. Full tang all the way through. Just a uh, overall, just a a pretty cool blade. What's something uh, that's a little different about these compared to like? You know, if you spent a whole uh, couple of paychecks and got an actual... So SGB is a subsidiary of Puma. But if you went and bought a real Puma, like say you bought the uh, the White Hunter, uh, you'd be several hundred dollars uh, into that if you could find one. And uh, so this is just a, a cheaper alternative. The the previous, the, the, the real ones, from what I've learned... They uh, they use a German steel, uh, and then they send them to Spain, and they uh, put the handles and finish them and send them back, and then they ship them out. These ones here, instead of going to Spain, they went to China. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of China knives, but there is absolutely nothing wrong with this. It's completely 100% solid. Very, very cool knife. So that's that. That's that SGB Buffalo Hunter. Cool stuff. I'll be back with some more. Right on, everybody. Here's the uh, CRKT knife. This is the uh, the actual part number to this is uh, 4514, I think. Yeah. Which is uh, it's uh, the Hawk Dog. So it's uh, not hot, but Hawk. So this is a, what do you want to call it? I guess it's a, uh, well, it's a knife. <laughs> but uh, G&G &G Hawk, uh, you know those guys, they uh, designed the, the locking mechanism on this one. Uh, it's called, uh, so it's called the Hawk Dog, and the dog is standing for Dead Bolt Over Grab Step. So it's kind of like a, uh, It's just a, a pullback type thing. Can't really see how it works, but you can see this thing moving. It's a pretty cool knife. It's a hollow ground, uh, OS 8 steel. Uh, it's got the partial serrated thing there. Right there. Right there. Cool stuff. So, uh, more about this thing. It's, uh, it's got, uh, aluminum handles. It's, uh, got a, a Zytel, I think that's correctly, I don't know if I pronounced that right or not. But that's, uh, like a pistol grip. See how it's got like the diamond grip? Really super grippy. There's no jimping right here. But there is way up here. I mean, that's not too far out of the way. Pretty cool. I definitely like the knife. And this pocket clip. Let me close the knife so it doesn't cut my hand. So this pocket clip right here. It's kind of weird. It's kind of short. But at the end here... Hey, there's a, a screw right there, and uh, you can loosen that screw, 
and actually adjust the tension on this. So depending on how thick of a material you're running, you know, you can make it so that it doesn't uh, snag on whatever you're whatever you're wearing. Really cool. I'm not sure of the year, uh, like the years that they made this. Uh, I remember when it was new, but I can't remember exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just a really cool knife. If you can see the hollow grind there. Kind of oversized pivot. They have this, uh, can't really see it here, but to get into there, it looks like you probably had to have some kind of special tool that I don't have. But an awesome knife. So that's the uh, the Hawk Dog. I'll be back with uh, something else. Oh, did I tell you how big this thing was? I don't think I did. It's um, it's pretty long. <laughs> We're looking at uh, eight inches overall. It's got a, a three and a half inch blade. It's got uh, four point six two five inches of handle and the uh, width of the steel is uh, 0.15 inches so there you go cool knife uh, something else is uh, it appears that and this one isn't but they have uh, there's a bunch of them out there where they've done auto um, auto conversions on there so I'm not sure what they look like but I'd imagine it has something to do with pulling this uh, this lock back and having that uh, fling your blade out so very cool though very cool thing I'll uh, I'll be back with uh, the buck knife right on here's the uh, buck knife this is called the 830 marksman and uh, this is a little different than most of them. This has got uh, green aluminum handles and a uh, kind of a coyote tan uh, coat for the uh, the blade and the locking mechanism. The lock is very odd, as you're saying, but it is just it is freaking solid. It doesn't move. This is uh, also a, uh, a blade that has been uh, done by G&G Hawk, as well as Buck Knives. Just another really cool, another really cool blade. And what's even just stranger is you see, just there's and then there's no liner lock. There's no button to push. What you have is a spring-loaded spring. <laughs> Uh, it's got a little bit of jumping here on the sides and you just kind of hold it right there and push with your finger and it shuts. It's very cool. Just super solid. So this thing is uh, eight and a quarter overall length. It's got a three and a half inch blade. The uh, thickness of the steel is uh, 0.12. It's uh, made out of 154 cm. It's uh, well, it's got the drop point, and it's uh, it's hollow ground as well. Just a really, really cool freaking knife. And this one was part of the uh, it was a buck, uh, like uh, they have a knife of the month club, and uh, this was uh, one of 500. So pretty cool, really cool actually. So that's uh, that's that. Uh, oh, this knife, the the lock. It's also very similar to uh, another knife I have. Let's see. So it's a. Uh, this is a. Uh, SKM uh, stiletto. It's got a uh, flat grind, and it's got what they call a uh, a pick lock. You can see a little disc right there. <laughs> Probably thought it was bigger than that, huh? Yeah, I hear that a lot. 
Oops. But they're close the same way as the buck knife. You just grab the, uh, the little disc and push with your finger till the lock is open and then this one stops about right there and then uh, pushes in. This is just like one of their full size stilettos but uh, key, keychain size. You know, there's a funny story behind this. I got nothing better to do. So when I was a kid growing up in Utah, we used to go to this amusement park called Lagoon. And uh, one of my favorite things to do with, uh, I would go there with my mom, and one of the favorite things to do was to go and play skee-ball. And you'd uh, play skee-ball and uh, win some tickets, and uh, eventually I got enough tickets and I went and got one of these. That is how cool life was in the 70s. You could buy a switchblade at an amusement park. <laughs> but yeah, just uh, I saw this was available, and since I lost my other one, I just had to add another one. And this is actually uh, the company is SKM, and it's actually really, really out of Italy. But we can't see that with this camera. You can see the little hole that holds the lock down when the, when the button is depressed in there. It's a, it's a real deal, just really small. <laughs> well, that's it. Uh, that's all the cool knives I have right now. So uh, thanks for checking this out. I'm out of here.